Welcome to the Access Flight School Draw Generator Guide. My name is Nicholas Daniel. Let's get started. To access the Draw Generator, you'll have to open your web browser and in the address bar, type in drawgenerator.axis.tools. The first page you notice to load up is this one here, and it's configured for mobile devices. And the intent behind that is, by it being mobile friendly, you would be able to use this tool anywhere. You'll also notice the images in the middle here, which are all the different disciplines that the Draw Generator supports. We're going to start with this video with the random Draw Generator, and I'll have a follow-up video for the Training Camp feature. Alright, so in order to properly configure our Draw, we first have to choose our discipline. And what you're going to notice is that the default is for formation skydiving, specifically belly flying. You're going to notice that the image on the right changes based on which discipline I choose. So if I go from formation skydiving to vertical formation skydiving, you'll notice that the image changes on the right. I can continue to mixed formation skydiving. There's even dynamic, and you'll even notice that there's canopy formation stuff as well. Uh, we also have a couple of uh, axis creations in there. For example, the cross formation stuff, which is essentially XRW, and we also have some horizontal formation skydiving uh, dive folds, which we created for the tunnel. I'll go ahead and go back to the default setting, and we'll continue to the dive pool options that you have. Again, the default setting is going to be uh, the FAI and IPC. However, if you wanted to choose a different dive pool, you could, for example, go with the National Skydiving League or other dive pools, and the image will also change based on which dive pool you've selected. Uh, this was important because as you then choose the level next, uh, it will basically set those parameters for you. So for example, if I go to the indoor version, it'll actually also give you the option of what size tunnel you're flying in, and therefore it'll change the pool based on what that tunnel could handle. Again, I'm going to go back to the default setting of the FAA IPC. Next, we'll have to choose what size formation we're participating in. So again, the default is going to be four-way, but I can choose eight-way, 10-way, or 16-way, and again, you'll notice the image changing up in here. Uh, 10 and 16-way are specifically USPA disciplines, which is why you only see the USPA logo up here. So again, I'll go back to the four-way. Next, we'll go ahead and take a look at the different levels. Open and Advanced are going to have the full dive pool available. However, if we select Intermediate, uh, it's going to remove the uh, dive pool images that are not included in that particular pool. Again, the default setting is going to be open, so I'll select that again. And then we need to figure out how many rounds we want to do. In this case, the default is going to be 10 rounds plus the additional tiebreaker round. If I'm happy with that, I'll just leave it as such. And as an option, we can go ahead and add some ad additional information to the text. In this case, we'll go ahead and do the draw generator demonstration. And again, thanking you guys for watching this video. Next, we're going to go ahead and hit generate. Now, immediately, the next thing that you'll notice is that a draw has been randomly generated in the middle of the page. But before we start going into those details, I just wanted to point out that the text that we added at the bottom on the previous page is now visible at the top here. And you also have some quick links, uh, mainly to the dive pool and the governing rules, specifically to the parameters that we just set. So I'll go ahead and click on the competition dive pool here, and you'll see that all of the dive pool images for four-way are coming up just like this. So, and again, that's with the intent of giving you guys a quick link to all the necessary information that you might need. You also have a link here to the governing rules. So as you click on that, it'll take you immediately to that part of the center within the website so that you have access to all of the, uh, the rules as well. Okay, moving on. We uh, obviously pointed out already that we have the random draw generated here. And typically, if you're a training team uh, and you're, let's say, the captain for the week, uh, I usually like to just take a screen grab of that and then send it to my teammates. However, if you're a um, beginner team or you're not entirely familiar with all the dive pool images, you also have the option here to select uh, images and names. So if you click on that, it'll essentially create a drop-down menu and expand each one of these rounds, and it will show you what the formations look like. 
Again, you can do that all the way to the tiebreaker round. Now, a couple of other uh, added features here. I'll go ahead and start below here. If you're not happy with this particular draw and you'd like to shuffle and repeat, you can click the button here. And again, it will just change the draw for you. If you found that you actually put in the wrong configuration, meaning let's say that you went into open, but you wanted to uh, initially do the uh, intermediate dive pool, you can click new configuration and essentially start over. A couple of other helpful items on this page are the one page summary. So the one page summary essentially takes all of the uh, dive pool images and puts them on one page. And it's in a PDF format, so you can easily save it and then ultimately email it to your teammates. Or if you're a coach and you wanted to use this as a coaching tool, you can then send this to your uh, students or teams that you're working with. Again, the uh, dive is at the top, and then all the images are stacked vertically. So again, this is very similar to something that you would see at, for example, a nationals or a uh, competition in that regard. Again, it also shows you when the draw was generated in the top right-hand corner, and again, that custom text that we entered earlier at the top of the page. The other feature, uh, this is more for judges, but this can also be great if you wanted to have this hanging up for maybe like a local competition that you're running, is you can do the one page per round. So the one page per round option also creates PDFs. And uh, again, this is going to give you more information about the particular draw that you created. Um, as we scroll down, you'll see each round occupies an entire page. So the images are a little bit larger. Uh, it also spells out the uh, IDs and names for the formations and then this is really helpful for the judges is that you also get to see this view here. So we have a three blocker right here so you can see that the top of block five is going to be the first point of the sequence and then the bottom of the block is going to be the second point. As uh, you get into the second page ultimately block five will be point seven and eight 13 and 14, and so on. Uh, that's what the A and B stand for. A is the top of the block, B is the bottom of the block. Same thing for block eight over here. It'll ultimately be the third point and the fourth point on the first page, nine and 10 on the second page, and so on. Um, if I take a look a little further down, here we can see a couple of the randoms. P in this case is going to be the first point, and then as we complete that page, it'll be the seventh point on the next page, and so on. One added thing that I'd like to point out here is, is that whatever draw you generated, it'll give you its parameters at the bottom here. So because we went with the open dive pool, it'll say that all 10 rounds plus the tiebreaker um, have five to six scoring formations each, and that it actually included the entire pool. So it'll say that it went from random A to Q and block sequence one through 22. Now, if we go ahead and go back out of here and create a new uh, generated draw with the intermediate dive pool, we'll go ahead and take a look how that differs. So now you can see that we have only four to five scoring formations per round. And then you can also see which block sequences and randoms are included at the bottom. So again, we have A through Q, but then we only have blocks one, two, four, six through nine, 11, 13 through 15, and 18 through 22. So a lot of the other more difficult moves are not included in this particular draw. In addition, we also have related links at the bottom. So if you wanted to take a look at any of the dive pools, whether it's for indoor or outdoor or the competition rules, you can also research them here. All right, guys, well, there you have it. That is the walkthrough of our draw generator. Essentially, we try to do our best to always keep the images and rules updated. However, if you come across an error or something that requires revision, please feel free to contact us via email. We hope that you enjoy this useful tool. Have fun with it, and we'll see you next time.